I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Saturday, August 20th, our reading is from the 12th chapter of Hebrews, verses 18 through 29. For you have not come to what may be touched, a blazing fire, and darkness, and gloom, and a tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and a voice whose words made the hearers entreat that no further messengers, messages be spoken to them. For they could not endure the order that was given. If even a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stoned. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion, and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable, angel, innumerable angels in festal gathering, and to the assembly, the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to a judge who is God of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks more graciously than the blood of Abel. See that you do not refuse him who is speaking. For if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less shall we escape if we reject him who warns from heaven. His voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised. Yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heaven. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of what is shaken, as of what has been made, in order that we what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. <coughs> Rooted in Christ, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us give thanks with reverence and awe. <coughs> Excuse me. I live in the Pacific Northwest of the United States among forests of evergreen trees more than 200 feet tall. During high winds, I used to worry that a tree might fall on our house. I consulted an arborist who taught me that branches reflect the tree's root system. It isn't the tallest trees with long, wide, plentiful branches I now worry about, but tall trees with skinny, short, and a few branches. The biggest trees sway gracefully in the wind. Their movement shows they are firmly grounded and will not fall. God has spoken to God's people in many and various ways and now pursues us in Christ for the healing of all creation. We may think we are improving at being people of faith, but we are no closer to saving ourselves. Our own root system is both insufficient and mortal. God's reign, eternally rooted, sways with grace throughout time, bending towards us, offering us rooted, rootedness in God's eternal life that cannot be shaken or destroyed. Our prayer. Eternal God, you are our refuge in a world that shakes and falls. Grant us all of you. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.